Emily and Oliver became curious about Porto, since a friend talked about the amazing time he had while he was there. They started to research about the city, and after some time, they found the Porto Tourism official website. Their search became easier, because here they had the right tools to organize their time in Porto. From the various and diversified events and experiences, with a few clicks, they had a personalized guide. After they've done it, they've contacted the customer care service from the Porto official tourism website to confirm all their bookings they'd just done. It was time to pack their bags and catch the plane to Porto. When they arrived, they went to one of the official tourism offices. They got their map and selected some of the suggested experiences Porto Tours has. Then they bought the Porto card and the great benefits and discounts that come with it. It was now time to explore, enjoying the experiences and the tours that they had planned. They went to the most emblematic wine cellars, where they've experienced the traditions and tasting sessions of port wine. They even got a boat trip to the World Heritage Douro Valley, where they saw the vineyards and participated in the winemaking tasks. They took the iconic tram from one of the many sightseeing tours. They visited various landmarks, from museums and heritage to architecture and contemporary art. They even had the chance to admire the magnificent World Heritage Site from a helicopter. By walking around, they discovered the charm of the city and met the friendly local people who showed Emily and Oliver where they could find all the great places to eat and drink the tasty local food and wines. Unfortunately, the trip came to its end, so they packed their bags and went back home. But now it's time to share with their friends how great all the experiences were and how they had such a great time in Porto.